It was really uh, started through a friend of mine, and we just kind of collaborated. Like I think maybe a few months into the development, Channel APA, yeah, yeah. like in the beginning, that was not what it was to this day. It was actually a very niche website catered to just entertainment and media in San Francisco because, uh, like, anything that would go up to San Francisco, you know, like events, anything that would be happening, like Channel APA would cover it. There wasn't any exposure as far as like. LA or anything like that, right? So Kevin Shea, who is like my partner now this day, who is the founder, he actually, you know, we met up in San Francisco and we had to talk about where the direction of, you know, our you know, paths would go eventually. And I said, you know what, we have really similar paths. I think we can help each other out. I can bring Channel APA down to LA, you know, where the hub of entertainment media is, right? And we can probably build something from there. And then, you know, lo and behold, Channel APA has grown over like the past two years. And I think right now we're a little bit over two and a half years old now. And the intent was that, you know, I kind of saw this direction where media was really focused on Asia. You know, like all, like back in like 10 years ago, right? Media was really focused on Asian entertainment, like just from the China perspective. Like there's a lot of martial arts films, Crouching Tiger, you know, a lot of Donnie Yen films, a lot of Jackie Chan films coming out of the woodworks, right? And I think because of that, a lot of the entertainment from there, like they, the stars wanted to migrate and build more of a base over in the States, right? And therefore, a lot of American attention was kind of like directed towards these films, right? Not necessarily so much Asian Americans, right? So, you know, when uh, AZN, the broadcast AZN and Imagination, Remember those broadcasts from a long time ago? I think the goal from them was like, how do we market these films to the American you know, market? And I think around that time, there was not much support at all. Like just coming from like, you know, the American perspective because they wanted to see one thing, right? I think, you know, the whole media thing, like they were at a disadvantage for sure because it came at such a wrong time. Like there was no internet, there was no YouTube or anything like that like, back in 2000, back in 2000, 2004, right? So there was really nothing that we could see that could really like, we could really relate to until YouTube came out and then you're seeing like this abundance of Asian American stars, you know, like YouTubers and all that stuff, like musicians, independent musicians. And now, you know, our eyes are starting to become a little more open towards this. and. To me, like I don't think it's really like that much of a surprise, to be honest with you. Like, you know, it's just over time, our direction from Asia has focused a little bit more towards like, independent and like a little more mainstream television now. You know? So you're starting to see a lot of like television series like Hawaii Five O, you know, Steve Young, of course, from Walking Dead. And, like he's really fun to watch. Like you're starting to see like sort of these emergences of Asian Americans in the media, and I think Channel APA is really there to essentially capture that and show it to everyone who you know might have not seen this before, like might not be like really exposed to this kind of stuff. So, with that having been said, I mean we like to focus on independent musicians as well, and a lot of independent artists are coming up right now and starting to form their own voice. So.